Hello, my name is Theo Klitzner and I'm from Herzliya High School. We are now at the Science Expo 2011 and it's basically the, it's the coming together of all scientific ideas over here from grade 10 to grade 12. Uh, my name is Gary Finkelstein from Hurstia High School. Um, my project is about utilizing biogas and the degradation of waste organic matter to run biogas cooking stoves in poverty stricken areas in South Africa. I've tested um, the project for one litre digesters. Um, that means organic matter up to filling one litre bottles. Uh, if I had to use 50,000 litre digesters, I would produce enough biogas to run 18 stoves in the poverty stricken areas of South Africa, as well as save 36 kilograms of carbon dioxide from going to the atmosphere every day per digester. Basically, what the project's about is converting uh, organic waste material, whether that's sewage or just any general organic waste material, to electricity in the form of to methane gas, which will then be converted to electricity. And this, this cycle would be a closed cycle as nothing is wasted. And from there, it can go to um, creating biodiesel from algae, uh, for fish farming, and for crop irrigation. My science expo project was Educate Don't Complicate, developing an accessible science kit for preschool learners in South Africa. So what I did was I took the science kit that wasn't being used and I broke, up, broke it up and saw what the possible issues are with this. And it was that it was very expensive, specifically in South Africa, so you wouldn't be able to replace the equipment. It was also just inaccessible as the kit itself was not in the 11 official languages of South Africa. And what I did was I took the science kit and I took I adapted some of their experiments as well as adding some of my own and made a new kit that was accessible, that was inexpensive and also sustainable. And our project's on increasing the water efficiency of the current toilet design and saving water in the process. But what we did was we researched different solutions which could purify water and uh, we found a solution that could completely break down urine. We tested it on a family uh, for seven days. We found that our product, which is this right here, we clip it onto a toilet and uh, place a solution inside. Then every time after you've gone to the toilet, you can just click it and it will go in right down and break down the urine. And uh, in this way, we save 99 from, uh, I think it's 49 and 4% of water that's used on flushing toilets, saving 1.49 trillion liters of water each day. It is a solution to education in our country. Basically for kids in rural areas, it gives them the advantage and the, um, a way of accessing materials from top schools, and also a way of understanding work through mentor program, mentorship program I developed. While you log on or you sign up, you log on either way, you can uh, submit your school and then sign up. And uh, as soon as you're online, you can uh, basically, first of all, request a mentor, otherwise, and then otherwise you can be a mentor for other children. My name is Salim Perfe and in a nutshell, our project is about a cost-effective tool for combating shack fires in the Western Cape and in Southern Africa. Basically what we, what we found is that shack fires account for more than a quarter of all fires in South Africa and the associated deaths for more than all those fires combined. As a result, we designed a simple fire extinguisher that works on the basis of this, um, an acid and a, and a bicarbonate that act to form carbon dioxide, water and a salt. And this um, puts out a fire across A fire, which is your local combustible items, and across B fire, which is generally your paraffin or pitch. Um, in general, the students are quite enthusiastic, and I think it's a good opportunity for them to um, get some exposure for the work and what they're trying to do. There's always quite a wide range of projects. Um, some of them are very high end. I was very impressed by some of them. And winners of the competition locally go to a national competition uh, to identify the best young talented scientists in South Africa.